Special introduction tonight, Griffin McConnell is a national chef chess champion, hard to say, who went through four brain surgeries. The procedure has helped treat severe seizures and a disease that disconnected the left side of his brain. And Griffin had to relearn how to walk and speak. And even after undergoing these intense surgeries, he became a national chess master. So he is here with us tonight, along with his dad, Kevin. Thank you both so much for being here. This is such an incredible story. Griffin, what is it like to be king? Oh, it's been, it's been amazing, I think. Uh, I, I had this dream of, of when I played chess, like national master, it's yeah. gonna happen. But I, it's been a dream and it's also been a successful uh, way of looking at it. Well, it's just, it's such an incredible journey. I mean, we just mentioned you had to learn to walk, to talk, to, to read, to write, and then you come out a champion. And this is something that takes a lot of cognitive skill. What was it like to relearn everything like that, including chess? It's been a hard process, uh, learning how to walk, learning how to talk, uh, and also learning how to redo chess. That, that takes a lot of... Uh, learning and a lot of patience um, to do all of that again. I, can, I haven't even learned it the first time, so I can only imagine. <laughs> so Kevin, to you, what does chess mean to you as Griffin's dad? I, I understand you first taught him to play when he was only four years old. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, both he and his younger brother both played since they were four. Um, it was a huge uh, fun thing at first, but then when Griffin got sick, uh, it became a lot more. Um, even the doctors at Children's Hospital uh, said that they felt chess played some of a, a bit of a role in Griffin relearning functions in the other hemisphere. Uh, now that he didn't have the use of his uh, uh, left hemisphere. Yeah, I was going to ask about that, Griffin. You, do you feel like that helped you learn other skills and helped your brain develop? Oh yeah, I, I feel like that. That has been. Uh, something that has changed, if you will, um, with all the surgeries and all the, you know, confusion and all, all of that happening. It felt like it's been a huge change. Um, and it's a good change, I feel Yeah. Like. What is it about chess that you love so much? Like, take us there, because I don't know how to play chess, but I've always dreamed of playing chess. Uh, ch chess for me is just so complicated. Like everything, it feels like it's a new uh, game, new territory every single time. And for me, it's just a way of kind of using my my thinking skills and try to put a, a task, if you will, um, on finding what is the best way possible in every single game. And I just feel like it's, it's memorizing. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, to you, I can't imagine how proud you must be of your son, but also how hard it's been for you to watch your child go through everything that he's gone through. Uh, it's uh, it's been a long road, especially with his most recent recent brain surgery last year. Uh, we were out of the woods for a couple of years after the brain surgeries when he was seven and eight, but then the seizures came back and we had to have a, a major brain surgery last year, and and uh, we let that be Griffin's choice because he was old enough to make it and he wanted to move forward with that because he wasn't getting any better at chess. The, the seizures were definitely affecting him. What's interesting is after the surgery, which was February of last year, the doctor said it'd be about six months till he, he kind of got back to baseline. And uh, in September of last year, he went from chess expert to literally five months later, national master, which is a super, super fast climb. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, it's it's been a long journey, but he's super inspiring and, and uh, it, it's hard to sweat the small, small things. Well, Griffin, congratulations. I'm so sorry we're out of time, but you have an incredible story and uh, we appreciate you both joining us tonight. It's just incredible. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.